June 15th. June 15th. June 15th. Hey. Uh, June 15th. Okay. Uh, thank me later, bitch. Hey. Uh, June 15th. Okay. Uh, thank me later, bitch. Uh. Uh, June 15th. Uh. CEO Jazz. Yeah. 4040 here. All right. I drink wine. What? I don't drink beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank me later, bitch. Uh. June 15th. This is Aglet Tech. Believe it or not, your favorite artists wouldn't be where they are today without technology. Everything from the phone they carry in their pockets every day to the websites and applications they use to interact with their fans. This series delves into the technology that some of your favorite artists use day in and day out. Miss Kwan, please, let me make the team first. Then I'll give you my autograph. How about you give me your English assignment instead? My assignment, right. I want to talk to you about that. Aubrey Drake Graham is one of today's biggest stars. Some of you may remember him from Degrassi, but who's to say he wouldn't still be acting today if it wasn't for tech? I'm seriously behind. I'm concerned you're not up to juggling both academics and sports. Okay, we're gonna start I go by the name of Drake, and uh... A show, I like to tell people where I'm from, you know, because a lot of artists, you know, me, dudes like me and JB, you know, we ain't afraid to say where we from. We from Toronto. We proud. Although Drake was known for acting at the time, his rap career was far from being slapped on. On MySpace, he gained more than 10,000 friends, which, for those of you who don't know, is kind of like a cross between Facebook and SoundCloud. It was on MySpace where Jazz Prince. The person ultimately responsible for introducing Drake to Lil Wayne discovered Drake, so without MySpace, there probably would be no Drake today. MySpace has ranked you uh, the number one unsigned artist in Canada. What do you think of this? It's crazy, like, I mean, it started like, uh, this is like probably the most intimate interview I've done because we're in, we're in, we're where it started right now, like this is my, this is my dwelling, you know, and it shows me that um, maybe corporate America doesn't get it yet, and the oh, record yeah. labels don't get it, but definitely I think the people really appreciate it, you know, and somebody keeps coming back. The grassy, all uh, the way from. Let me situate this. Yeah, all the way from it. Fast forward to 2009 when we see Drake start to gain some notoriety as a rapper. His daily driver, none other than the Blackberry Bold 9000. The Research in Motion device was especially popular for its easy to use QWERTY keyboard as well as its very popular BlackBerry Messenger. Recording artists in particular seem to love Blackberries for these reasons and it became a staple in the creative process for many. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I think I think my Blackberry, my Blackberry probably knows me better than anybody. You know, my Blackberry has all my, um, all my thoughts in there. Um, my Blackberry, my Blackberry is just always there for me when I need to express myself. You know, it's, it's where I write my music. And um, it also stores a lot of the, you know, the songs I've done throughout my career. Drake's relationship with the Canadian multinational didn't stop there. He went into both promote and continue to use the Blackberry Torch as well as the Blackberry Bold Touch. There were quite a number of instances where Drake could be seen promoting the company's flagship device but unfortunately that wasn't enough to keep him afloat. Although they still continue to produce flagship devices, it's unlikely that Rim will ever see the market share that it saw between 2008 and 2010. Twitter was first launched in 2006 as what was dubbed the microblogging site. By 2009, many celebrities had jumped on the platform as a way to connect with the audience, and Drake was no different. For those of you who remember, the Twitter experience on Blackberries was far from stellar, and it's no surprise that we saw Drake start to distance himself from the Canadian rim. By 2010, the Apple iPhone was already very popular and it's no surprise that we see Drake start to adopt the iPhone 5 as his daily driver. Little did he know that this would be the start of a great relationship with the company. What really revolutionized the cell phone industry was the App Store, essentially giving anyone the opportunity to take an idea and put it in the palm of millions. 
Instagram was just one of those applications. And when Drake joined in December of 2011, it helped bring a face to the star behind the music. Throw in a cameo in an ad for FIFA 2014. A slew of iPhones, and it became apparent to large companies that the rapper was making waves in a time where consumers just craved to be a part of the stardom. Caught some summers before they replace them with something recent. Memphis, them rubber bands to show people your grind is money. Here they just quick to see it and claim it is kind of funny. They buy into the gimmick instead of saying it's him again. Tried and it take them too long to realize they mimic it. Said that people had trouble naming their favorite rapper. Some of them getting older, most of them in a the trap. And in reality, they working, but none of them on the map. So now they desperate and they try to get famous chilling with Apple. In June of 2015, Apple signed Drake to a reported $19 million deal in an effort to drive their new streaming service, Apple Music. Not only would Drake have his own show and be a guest DJ, but his popularity on other social media platforms would seek to help try and drive Connect, the social aspect of Apple Music. Oh, all this success didn't come without any speed bumps along the way and in August of 2015, Drake turned to none other than Twitter to help settle his feud with Meek Mill. Compare the rise and success of Drake's very own OVO store. I'm telling you, they don't want you on G4s, you know? They don't want you to wear bow ties. His appearance in T-Mobile's 2016 Super Bowl commercial. Perfect. Here are the changes. I love changes. When you say call me on my cell phone, just add device eligible for upgrade after 20... We very well may be witnessing the rise of the man behind the next big tech incubator. Charges, fantastic idea. <laughs> These changes don't ruin the song at all. Yeah, we're gonna go again! Take me later, bitch. All right. June 15th. All right. ATF gang. Gang. OVO gang. OV. Reps up gang. Rip. All up in this thing. Smoke I up. Take me later, bitch. June 15th. All right. All right. Take me later, bitch. June 15th. Okay. Take free Lil Wayne. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below to let me know who you want me to do next. And don't forget to like and subscribe.